Hello everyone. Welcome to programming knowledge. For any machine learning model, there are some hyperparameters which can be adjusted and in turn they change the efficiency or the accuracy of the model. So even if we finalize the uh, machine learning model that we are going to work with, a lot of job is still left as we have to adjust the hyperparameters. One brute force approach would be to start with default values and keep on adjusting manually according to our intuition but that would be very time consuming and does not have any clear cut indication about whether we have reached an optimum value or not. That's where grid search comes in to make our life a little bit easier. We have already worked with the SVC and uh, logistic regression. So instead of uh, repeating them again, let's learn something new. In this video, uh, first we'll learn about a new efficient classifier that is a random forest classifier. And then we'll use grid search to tune its hyperparameters. For understanding random forest classifier, let us take this interesting example. Suppose you want to visit any one of the following cities which are Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata and Chennai but you are not sure which one. So you make a list of these four cities and distribute to your 100 friends and ask them to choose their favorite one out of these four. Some choose Delhi, some choose Mumbai but after the voting you found out that Kolkata has got the maximum number of votes. So now you can be sure that you want to go to Kolkata. That is how a random forest classifier works. A random forest is a meta uh, is a meta estimator that fits a number of uh, decision trees on various subsamples of data set and uses average to improve uh, predictive accuracy. Drawing similarities, we can say that uh, these hundred friends were like hundred decision trees and each one of them predicted a value and the final outcome was decided by a majority of uh, voting that is the forest. Let's see how it is implemented in Python. So, as usual, first of all, we'll import scikit-learn. After from scikit-learn dot ensemble, we will import random forest classifier. Then from scalon, oops, from scalon dot data sets will import our iris data set that is by invoking load iris. Let's name a variable and load our iris data into it. Now we have to split our um, data set into training and testing set. So for that we will import s from sklearn dot model selection import train test split. Now let's split our data. We'll write x train, we'll write x test, then we'll write y train, then we'll write y test. Now let's call this function train test split, and in it we'll write iris dot data, then iris dot target let's specify the test size say 20% and seed a random value random state equals to say 30 now let's call our classifier CLF equals to random forest classifier. It can be called in this way also if we do not specify everything then only the uh, default values will be supplied. 
but uh, for the purpose of this video we are going to work with uh, three very basic hyperparameters which are number of estimators minimum sample split and minimum sample sleeve so the default value for number of estimators is 10 that is 10 decision, uh, decision trees are used um, let's uh, suppose we are going to work with just two number of estimators two and uh, after that uh, we can use min sample split min samples split equals to 3 the default value for this is 2 and min sample split is the minimum number of samples required to split an internal node so of course its default value is 2 and the third parameter that we are going to work with is minimum samples leaf now what is minimum sample sleeve? It is the minimum number of samples required at the base that is at the leaf node. So its default value is 1. At least one sample is required over there. So let's try 2. Now let's fit our data into this classifier clf.fit x train comma y train okay the upper parameters are, uh, are as we had uh, specified them as you can see that minimum samples is 2 minimum sample minimum sample leaf is 2 minimum sample split is 3 the number of estimators are 2 so yeah let's go ahead after fitting this uh, we are left with the job of predicting let's use spread underscore clf equals to clf dot predict and what we are going to predict x test now for checking the accuracy we'll like we'll write sklearn dot matrix dot accuracy score and in the brackets We'll write y underscore test and red underscore clf. Let's see how much accurate our model is with these hyperparameters. Okay, it's already 93% accurate. So now we'll see that can we improve this accuracy or not. So in order to improve the accuracy, we'll try to adjust or tune the hyperparameters using grid search. So first of all, let's import grid search from sklearn dot model selection import grid search cv. After that, we have to specify a parameter grid. Parameter grid. What uh, this parameter grid contains is uh, it contains a various number of uh, features and we have to specify them according to our wish. So what it will do is that it will take each one of um, the combination and try it out. So in our case, since we have chosen to work with these three features. So first of all, we'll specify n estimators now what are the values that we can work uh, that it can take so we had taken three initially so uh, two sorry so let's say two five ten twenty suppose that uh, my number of estimators can take any one of these four values after that I can write um, my next feature that is min samples split and this will be it was given 3 so let's say 2 and 3 after that uh, which one feature is left min samples sleeve min samples leaf and min sample sleeve can take up any of these any of the values like uh, its default value was 1 so let's try 1 2 and 3 
so basically what we have done is we have given it uh, four options for number of estimators two options for uh, minimum sample split and three options for minimum sample leaf so a total of four into two into three that is 24 options it is going to try uh, on uh, our model and the one with the best accuracy score will get selected and that is how grid search works so that is number of estimators can take up any of these four values 2 5 10 or 20 minimum sample split can take any of these two values that is 2 or 3 and minimum sample leaf can take similarly any of these three values which are 1 2 and 3 now let's write grid search and in it we will first call grid search cv then specify our estimator our estimator was clf which is the random forest classifier of course and after that we have to specify the parameter grid so both have been saved by the same name i think so yeah param grid it will be after that uh, after this we have to fit the data in our grid so grid underscore search dot fit grid underscore search dot fit x train and y train x train y train there's some kind of warning okay we'll ignore the warning and uh, now that our grid search has been grid search has uh, done its working so we'll see what are the best parameters that it has come up with grid search dot best underscore param params that is parameters so the grid search has told us that uh, minimum sample sleeve should be one minimum sample split should be two and the number of estimators should be five for the optimum solution so let's tune our random forest classifier that is our model accordingly according to these hyperparameters and then check our accuracy till this point uh, the code is exactly the same as we had seen a few moments ago so from this point uh, we'll specify the hyperparameters that we have learned using the grid search so number of estimators were five min samples leaf was one and min samples split was two now we just have to fit our data clf dot fit x train and then y train y underscore train okay the data has been fed now let's uh, do the prediction red underscore clf equals to clf dot predict and after that we will write x underscore test the prediction has been done now the last step that is we are going to check its accuracy sklearn dot metrics dot accuracy accuracy underscore score and whose uh, accuracy we have to check y underscore test as compared to red underscore clf okay so as you can see the accuracy has gone to 100 percent this might be a case of overfitting but one thing is for sure that uh, we tuned our hyperparameters using grid search and then using those hyperparameters, uh, the accuracy of our model definitely improved. Thanks for watching.